What is up my fellow guitar addicts? I'm Caesar, and this is Addicted to Guitar, where we are everything guitar. So go ahead and stop what you're doing. Look down there. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so YouTube can let you know when we're doing new videos. And right now we're trying to do a video a day, basically, until my birthday, which is uh, September 11th. So we're going to talk about guitar and basically whatever's on my mind, and we're going to try to crank one of these out a day because I want to share as much guitar as I can with you guys and uh, I want to do it more often so so we're gonna try this challenge out and see if we can do one of these a day and today I want to talk about uh, something that's near and dear to everybody's heart and that's uh, guitar pedals I wasn't really a guitar pedal guy I was much more a guitar and amp kind of guy just directly into the amp if the amp was two channels even better because you could switch between a clean sound and a dirty sound and I did most of my effect stuff with my knob, yeah, my knob, uh, and maybe like a flanger pedal or a delay pedal. But lately, I've been binging on JHS's channel, uh, JHS Pedals. They've got a channel where Josh Scott, which is the JHS from the pedal company, he does really great videos on guitar pedals, and you can really tell that he loves guitar pedals. He's like a guitar pedal geek. And I say it lovingly when I say geek. Uh, he just knows, man, a lot of stuff about him. And most of the time, when he's talking about pedals on his channel, they're not his pedals. He's just talking about guitar pedals in general. He's a big Boss fan, so he talks a lot about Boss pedals. He talks about exotic pedals, inexpensive pedals, expensive pedals. He kind of dives into what makes them tick and what makes them different. And I've really been enjoying it. And for me, that I'm not really a pedal fetish kind of guy where I've got a whole closet full of pedals. I am much more of a guitar and amp fetish guy. I've got a whole closet of amps out there and guitars, but just watching his videos makes me want to get into pedals. He, he shares his love and it's kind of uh, infectious. Not to mention that he does great videos. He's a real likable guy. Uh, he's charismatic and when he talks to you, he shares this genuine passion for pedals, which makes you want to go out there and try them out. So I have been binging his channel, and from his channel, he talks a lot about how he got into pedals, which is by modding pedals. And there's actually a lot of great modding pedal channel out there, too. Modding pedal channels out there, uh, like YouTube recommended the Wampler channel, and I forgot what... Mr. Wampler's first name is, but he does some really great videos too, and he actually dives a little deeper into the schematics and the science and the electronics behind them, which is really fun, because I love tinkering, I love building, I love pulling out my soldering iron and messing with electronics. So he's kind of rekindled my love of creating stuff. So I actually ordered some transistors, and I'm going to try my hand out some pretty simple pedals, and uh, I got my own breadboard out, so I'm going to try out different circuits and just um, have some fun with it. But I wanted to share that with you guys. If you guys have not checked out either one of those channels, I definitely recommend it. Although, most likely you guys have. I mean, JHS pedals and Wampler pedals are pretty huge right now. And uh, their channels do seem to get a lot of viewers and they do have a lot of subscribers. So, I'm probably just preaching to the chorus and letting you guys know that those channels are out there. But... That's what I've been doing. I've been binging them, and it's been a lot of fun. I've also been doing the Paul David's Intermediate course. I think it's called Next Level course, and that's been pretty fun. I consider myself like an intermediate guitar player, almost an intermediate guitar player. And it's been great because it's kind of filled in some of the gaps in my education, giving me a reason to get back into triads and learning the entire fretboard again and being able to name every note and every fret, which is something I was able to do before, but I think really concentrating on some of the basics out of that course has been really interesting. So if you guys are interested in learning more about that course, uh, let me know, and I'll do a couple of videos on uh, what I'm getting out of the lessons. I mean, I won't give you guys the lessons, because that's not really fair to him, because he does charge for the course, but I can kind of let you know what it's about, so if you're interested in looking into it and purchasing it, you can kind of get an idea of whether it's right for you. I mean, it's definitely not a beginner course, and I was looking for something that wasn't a beginner course because, you know, I already know the beginner stuff, but I wanted something that 
like the name of it implies, was going to take me to a, an upper level, right? The next level. And it's been pretty cool. You know, he starts at the beginning with triads, which is always a great place to start. And I hadn't really learned my triads all over the neck. So just that alone was probably worth the money, forcing me to kind of sit down and concentrate and learn all the triads up and down, especially on the first three strings. And those are always real helpful. You learn all the shapes, you know, major shapes, minor shapes. And those are like the basis of guitar playing, being able to learn those. So just that experience alone was pretty good and probably worth it. So that's what I've been doing. Um, and like I said, I ordered some transistors. I'll probably do some videos on um, trying to do some of the simpler uh, pedals out there, like maybe a boost pedal or a fuzz pedal, so I'm real excited about that. And I'll keep you guys updated. This is the first of many videos, so I hope you guys dig it. Please, down there in the comments section, let me know what you think, if there's anything you want to know about, anything you'd like to hear about. I mean, I'm just here trying to share my love of guitar with you guys. And uh, hopefully you guys will share it back, because just talking to a camera is fun, but it's not as rewarding as it could be if you guys uh, shared your love of guitar with me. Alright guys, so that being said, this is my Slick SL57. It's a pretty nifty guitar. I'm still getting into it. It's got some nice sounds. It's got that stratty playing ability. <laughs> having trouble with the nut getting stuck. But anyway, this is me signing off. Hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe for more guitar. Thanks for watching.